The base of this table was made out of a combination of MDF and plywood. It consisted of three shapes, a square for the top and bottom, and two different sized triangles that make up the geometric facet. I first broke the sheet down into more manageable sizes with my track saw. Cut all the triangles out, put down some double-sided tape, and stack two pieces on top of each other so that I could cut out multiple pieces in one pack. I used the flush trim bit to ensure all the pieces were the exact same size. I used a crosscut sled with a couple of scraps acting as stop block to put the bevel on all the edges of the triangle pieces. And also on the top and bottom of the base. Then it was time to glue everything together. I originally planned to use biscuits in all the joints, but those ended up being more of a hassle than helpful. So I pulled those out and just edge glued everything together. I forgot to turn the camera on when I glued these two pieces to make the whole base. You'll just have to use your imagination for that part. So it up the 10 foot by 10 foot space pretty quick, so then I had to put a bandsaw in my laundry room. With the base fully assembled, I set that aside for a little while and started to work on the top. I milled this up off screen because I was a little short on time. Here we are just gluing up the whole thing. I have a couple pieces of Unistrut that I use as calls, and it works really effectively. Each side got a 30 degree under bevel. Next up was laying out and cutting the veneers in preparation for gluing them to the base. It may be overkill, but I found that my track saw was the easiest way to cut the veneer. We used contact cement to adhere the veneer to the substrate. Trimming the excess veneer proved to be much harder than we first anticipated. After some trial and error, it ended up looking fine. Finally, it was time to put some finish on. The top was attached with skirt washers, and here it is in its new home. <laughs>